One of the most unique things about anime manga is the way it handles conflict resolution. And by this I mean one thing, fights, fights, and even more fights. It's a quality of the medium that's hard to match in other forms of entertainment, or at least at the same level as anime. Something about fighting and overcoming incredible odds through combat resonates with a lot of people, and that unique brand of conflict resolution is most commonly seen in shonen format. However, there's one certain manga that diverges from the power fantasy aspect, instead using combat as a way to communicate inner emotions when words aren't enough. A manga where harsh violence is not frowned upon, but rewarded and enabled by a community in which it resides. For those that have nowhere else to turn to and can manage to thrive in this type of setting, away from the darker truths of reality, they can find belonging. They can find their holy land. The story of Holy Land revolves around a high school kid, Kamashiro Yu, who in the most simplest terms is a loner, although not a cause of his own volition. Bullying, lack of a social life, and an uncaring household play a part in contributing to Yu's depression. There's quite literally no driving force in his life, as he spends his days isolated in his room, doing whatever he can to separate himself from reality. Whatever it was, he tried to get as close as he could to non-existence without finding the motivation to actually end his life. Yeah, this is a dark story. However, one day out of boredom, he picks up a boxing tutorial book at the library out of nothing more than sheer curiosity. Just like all the other things he did to phase out of reality, he follows a step-by-step -step guide on how to throw a jab, and he gets good, like really good. He gets so good at doing this one single motion that he actually manages to knock out a thug picking on him out of self-defense. Unwittingly, this starts a cascade of events that earns you the unintentional title of Thug Hunter. This is just a premise, but you might be able to tell that Holy Land has a special position of being a seinen manga, but the plot revolves around a high school kid. In other words, Yu is a kind of shonen protagonist analog in a seinen world. I call this the reverse shonen. It's kind of like Deku if he lived in a totally powerless world and the pressures from bullying and depression managed to get the better of him, and he had to face the dark reality of our world without any sort of guiding force in his life. And that's just how I would personally describe Yu. As he continues to fight, Yu progresses down a rabbit hole of gangs, violence, and street fighting, and instead of adding on to his depression, they give him a sense of community. A place where he feels accepted, regardless of the circumstances that got him there. And as he fights and develops his fighting techniques, he finds himself more and more attached to the streets because it's a place like no other. One where he finds solace through violence. And he calls this his holy land. And it's the exploration of this holy land where the manga shines. In it, we explore the relationship Yu has with other characters. Whether it be other street thugs or classmates, we see him learn that everyone is dealing with their own demon. And it's not just him. He starts to notice that people he thought were at the top of some sort of hierarchy are struggling with the same things that he struggles with. It's a story about a kid on the verge of suicide evolving into a person that learns how to appreciate life and those around him. From his newly found best friend Shinchi, his pseudo rival karate partner Shogo, or the king of the streets himself, Masaki aka the street fighting god, Yu finds happiness. The author does a fantastic job of putting Yu in situations where the antagonists not only attack him, but inadvertently attack his new perspectives in life. Constantly, there is a battle inside his mind that tries to reason with the world around him. Is the world the same as it always was? Or is finding happiness something he truly deserves? This is where the fighting comes in. Sup. Look, I'm just gonna say this off cuff. I think Holy Land has some of the best fights I've ever seen, manga or anime. I think what separates it from others is probably the rugged, raw brutality of it all. While Koji Mori doesn't have the best art style by any means, the way he frames the fights and panels and the positions of the characters is super engrossing. Like it's just cool. Look at this. It's just straight hype when two characters are about to show down. The way Mori incorporates so many martial arts techniques into his fights and magically weaves their core values into the personality of the characters that predominantly use them. Take Shogo for example. He's a karate black belt and is driven to prove himself among the streets because of karate's bad name in street fighting. Or Suchia, who is a wrestler and loves fighting just for the pleasure of it, which is reflected by his charismatic, sneakily friendly personality. And when it comes to the actual fights, you truly feel like the characters are fighting not only to feel the satisfaction of victory, but in some ways prove to their thug contemporaries that their martial arts are truly the best. The pride these characters feel for their craft seems so real, mainly because they willingly go onto the streets to prove so and face immeasurable risk, like they're really about that life. The series does such an excellent job describing the true nature of street fighting and distinguishing itself from professional martial arts matches. Here, fights actually take place on the street where there is no ref and the only thing stopping you from permanent injury or death is your own technique versus the skills of your opponent you're facing. 
It's like the setting of the street is another opponent a fighter has to face in combat. And this amalgamation of street fighting gives the manga a unique combination of true martial arts combat and the no holds barred rawness of street fighting. Again, I'll say the art isn't the best compared to other fighting manga, but it does feel the most lived in and very sudden. Every hit feels so real and when something seriously violent happens, you literally cringe in your seat, imagining the pain as if it were your own. Like when you see such an innocent kid like you forced to do things like break people's arms or beat someone past submission, it makes you grind your teeth while also forcing you to turn the page to see what happens next. And if there's anything to take away from Holy Land apart from the story, it's that it just feels real. Maybe the fights and its portrayal of street life are a bit exaggerated, but that's not what I mean. It's how people with their own demons learn to cope with the world around them and try to better themselves as people through the Holy Land. Constantly throughout the show, my heartstrings were just being tugged and tugged, and all I wanted was for you to have a friend. Forget all the fighting. The manga is so good at characterization of not just you, but the rest of the cast, and it was so heart-wrenching to see two beloved characters fight each other when you know that they were both dealing with the same troubles and can work things out by just having a simple conversation. All in all, I think Holy Land is one of the best mangas you can read, and anyone interested in fighting, deep characterization, and themes of depression, suicide, violence, and overall gang culture, this really is a series that will fulfill your desires without pulling any punches. The characters are real, the fights are real, and overall, the manga author feels like he genuinely cares about the subject matter of the story. If you're looking for something to keep you on the edge of your seat, a series that will make you care for the character so much on an intimate level and has some amazing action, check out Holy Land. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't had time, please check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.